In today's video, we're going to be looking at a lesser known but very powerful feature of our popular 4G Extreme product. So the 4G Extreme is shipped with two external 4G antennas, as you can see here with the uh, mounts and uh, cabling, um, and also two internal Wi-Fi antennas which screw into the back of the unit. Now these uh, Wi-Fi antennas usually just create the wireless network that you connect to on your boat, um, but we can, uh, with uh, a new uh, antenna kit that we're going to be releasing in January 2023, uh, allow you to take one of these off and then fit an external wireless antenna. So the antenna is slightly longer than the, the 4G antenna, same type of style of antenna with the same base mount and it comes with 10 meters of low loss LMR400 coax cable which so you just unscrew one of the antennas on the back of the unit and screw in the cable and then what that will allow you to do is when you go into a marina rather than use your uh, data on your data sim is switch and use the wireless hotspot in the marina to connect to the internet and you do that through the wireless interface um, or the web interface of the 4G Extreme so we'll go into Safari and I've already logged in um, here we are in the in the overview page it now it's an advanced mode that we need to be in so we need to click on the where it says basic and change into advanced mode and then we need to go to network and wireless and now we can see the two wireless interfaces that a 4G Extreme has there's the legacy 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and then there's the newer 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi now a lot of marinas still only have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network so you'll need to connect using this adapter but if you can if your marina does have a 5 gigahertz um, wireless network then it's well worth connecting on the 5 gigahertz because there's only modern devices can connect to it so there's fewer devices connected to it there's more wireless channels so less congestion and also it's a faster technology so you'll get two or even three or even four times the speed you get on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network so what you do once you've decided which type of network you're going to connect to you do a scan so I'm going to click here and it's the same procedure depending upon which you know whether you use a 2.4 or a 5 gigahertz you just click the, the relevant scan button but I'm going to do a 5 gigahertz scan and now the marina I'm in at the moment doesn't actually have a 5 gigahertz um, wireless network so I've set my boat's wireless router up to to be a sort of simulated uh, marina hotspot um, and so all you do is you click join network now we need to enter uh, the wireless password now some uh, networks won't have they'll be open uh, they won't have a, a wireless uh, password so they're even easier to connect to but if it's got a wireless password you just need to enter that now you can give the I'm just going to call it marina you can call it anything you like really um, it's just so that when you see it in the list of uh, interfaces you know which one you've created and you go to submit and then you go save and apply and now you'll see as well as seeing a, an extra connection on the 5 gigahertz range to the to the name of uh, the network that I've connected to if we go to network and interfaces we'll see uh, along with the wired WAN the two sim card uh, connections we've now got a new interface called marina um, it's already connected you've got an IP address so we're actually online now I'd imagine with that and to prove that what I'm going to do is and this is good practice as well for you is to turn off the mobile sim data sim connection so that we know that we're definitely connected just to the wireless network of the marina and we know we're not going to be using up any of our, our uh, megabytes data allowance on our sim so we set that to off this one's to on the LAN is always on never turn that one off that's a, an important uh, note otherwise you'll not be able con to connect to the 4G extreme and then we just click save and apply so now it's in the background it's connecting to that wireless hotspot um, and the yep, configuration has been applied so just to prove that everything is okay we can now open a new tab on our browser and I'm just going to go to YouTube to prove that we're online and sure enough there we are yep it's brought up YouTube 
Um, so now, as well as the uh, 4G connection uh, option, when you're in a marina that has good Wi-Fi networks, you can then, with the addition of our optional um, wireless external NMEA um, antenna kit, then that will allow you to, uh, to connect to the wireless hotspot in the marina. So I hope you found that video interesting. One last thing to add is when you leave that marina, if you're never going to go return to that one, you actually just, it's better just to uh, hit the cross icon there, which will then delete that interface. Um, and then that way you uh, don't clutter up the this list of interfaces with lots of different marinas. And that's uh, all the uh, I wanted to show you in today's video, but do watch out for other videos that we'll be re releasing in the future with other features of uh, 4G Extreme. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.